All right, this is it's a broadcast. It's called One. So let's jump into this. Uh, it's like we're moving into a new age. You got age of Aquarius, the age of awareness. Maybe this is the age of the singularity. You think? What does it mean to be a human? There's a little poem right here. <laughs> Humans can think, bleed, and build stuff and destroy stuff. Are humans the only creature we know? Creature. Are humans the only uh, entity or creation beings that can make a choice to live in alignment with the planet or live in disalignment? You know, be a, a virus, be a, a pillager. To the planet we can choose and what does that mean what well, it means some of us are making unconscious choice or automated choices so if you're born into a system that plunders the planet then by default you choose to plunder the planet you know if you if you live in balance and harmony with the planet then you choose something else you can be born into it or you can get it be enlightened and transition to this what's your choice so uh, yeah if no matter what you're doing where you live the clothing you wear the food you eat supermarkets malls shopping stores dyes the sneakers every choice everything you do is a choice when you make a choice that shows what you support so if you're gonna make your own clothes make your own food farm and work with the earth and that's your choice if you're going to go to a mall, a clothing store, a restaurant, a supermarket, then that's the choice to, it's part of the other side uh, that's not in harmony with the planet. So I want to go through just a few things, just mind concepts, and this is the spark of it all. So what does it mean to be rich? Well, if you look up rich, you'll see these images. You got It automatically goes to money. <laughs> But that's, that's far from what rich means. On a basic level, rich, what I would, I, I feel rich would mean, you know, quality of life, how you feel, how you, mental. So mental, spiritual, physical richness. Nothing, money's an energy. So money's a, a small part of that. You know, it's not, money's not the main focus. You are. So your your mind, your spirit, your body. So it should be baskets of food. You know, there should be meditation, all types of imagery. Now, what about poor? If you look up poor, you got these images coming up. This is what. This is not even. Depending on where you're born, you know, you have certain things ingrained in your mind. When you think of success, when you think of failure. Oh, I gotta write that down. Success and failure. Success, failure. So, you gotta, if you want to, you can start questioning and asking, what are your habits? What is what is default? You know, what is your subconscious default? When you think of poor, is this your subconscious default? A third world country, where people are hungry and starving and living off a dollar a day. No, no. What an interesting thing. The cool thing is because of a borderless currency like cryptocurrency a lot of these uh, third world countries are having uh, a chance to use that energy use that money use that energy and resources and talents to rise above to go beyond the normal daily life now obviously this time and age you know I would say people shouldn't be starving you know or just scratching and surviving day to day Instead of a dollar a day, maybe ten dollars a day. You know, it, it doesn't have to be some crazy amount. Oh, millions. No. Just good land, good soil, good food. Waking up, going to sleep with shelter and food, nourishment. So this is this is not poor. This this again, this image is far. So who this is Google, by the way. Is this Google? And so whoever's at Google, they should be fired <laughs> like this is 
you have to when you have tools like this you get the dictionary so the dictionary says having insufficient wealth to meet necessities or comforts of life so who made up that dick who made up that definition to meet necessities or comforts of life or to live in a manner considered acceptable in society see it's going to society but you have some tribes that live in nature that are thriving so you know by definition they wouldn't be poor but they have their own type of wealth so when having insufficient wealth to meet necessities what does that mean you have to go deeper insufficient wealth which means tools hunting gathering you know the resources wealth doesn't mean money see if you think of wealth and money that's an, again another default subconscious program if you go to rich having abundant possessions they go into material thing abundant possessions and especially material wealth so this is all going to material wealth how to use rich in a sentence <laughs> see this whoever merriam webster dictionary that you gotta burn that book all right so keep going on <laughs> let's go to natural nature this is what you when you look look up natural nature this is what you see that's pretty pretty good yeah but there's more to it and these are oh these are beautiful nature sometimes nature isn't this picturesque this beautiful nature is everything um the hunted the hunter and the hunted oh be right there down hunter and hunted uh so so yeah so that's that's the little nature and then virtual reality I don't even think there's images of oh there we go so when you see when you look up virtual reality you see humans with a device interacting with a substrate a mainframe uh something other that's not nature <laughs> So, uh, that's why I say this is the the era of the singularity when nature, humans enter the digital space, virtual reality. It's a simulated existence. What if we already are in a simulated existence? Matrix 4 coming out, Matrix coming out, and it's going to talk about, it's very interesting. We're, we may already be in a simulated existence nature natural experience and now we're building our own it's uh it's getting very very interesting and let's wrap this up so we got earth when you look up earth you see a planet who knows if earth looks like this who this is the this is the pictures we see you know who who out there has a spaceship and they went out into space and saw all of this not many people i'm gonna get a drone i gotta Let's check out the earth myself so this is what we think of earth this is the subconscious habit the default that goes into our mind when we think of earth now earth could be bigger or smaller than this earth could be flat or square or cube we don't know i mean technically you don't have to know Ooh, does it really matter but if you want to know go it out in space and figure it out yourself fly around the whole earth 3d image it take pictures <laughs> and let us know there's more than meets the eye. All these definitions, all these things that are, there's so much more. And then we got deep space. And again, these are images that we're sent. Oh, look at this one. It's like harmonics. That's cool. This may be the closest thing to what deep space looks like. You got waves, wave and particle, vibrations, sound waves, everything. I mean, if you go directly to science, they, they're telling you the truth. There's space between everything matter it's just space with a little bit of particles and then the frequency the tune the vibration I uh, saw so Lady, Lady Phoenix had a tweet today but talking about the the harmonics of being human the harmonics of existence so you yeah, said so once again this is deep space and this is the default subconscious things we think of obviously if you if you're tapped in you know doing that Kundalini uh, deep fire breath breathing if you're tapped in activating a dmt in your body then you're going to have visions and you're going to see other things outside of the default subconscious things that are given to us and that's it i'm that's that's enough of the rabbit hole you need for today <laughs> but uh, there's more than meets the eye and this is the age of the unveiling have fun peace and love to you all this is the one